morning. So nice outside today. I really should go for a run outside, but kind of want to get on the treadmill and the bike and catch up on the bachelorette. So I can't run and watch TV. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting this workout as I walk by the pool. It just reminded me that today is ditching day and we're going to be in the pool. And now my body is super sore. And that's just not a good mix with trying to save lives in a pool. Oh Lord. I should have thought that out better, but oh well. What's done is done now. <laughs> Hello everybody. It is Tuesday, 8.28 p.m. We went to class at 12.30 today, so it wasn't too bad of a day at all as far as lengthwise. So, I ditched today, y'all. Ditching as in um, evacuating in water, evacuating the plane in water. So, we did that. We got in the life raft, had our swimsuits on, had the life vests on, put the canopy over the thing. And then I got to float around and swim around in the pool for a little bit. Not too long, but so that was nice. That's how we started off class. Um, and then we went to the Sims, the E190 Sim and the 8320 Sim. So what did we do? So on the E190, we got in some groups and we did planned evacuations, water and ditching, and then we went to the A320 and got into groups or what we actually call crews um, and did um, planned evacuations and ditchings. So right now we're just kind of finishing up strong. We The next three days are going to be really long days. Well, actually it's just two of them. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have a KSV in the morning, I believe. Um, and then we have like a little IOE meet and greet and an EME overview. So I don't really know how long tomorrow is truly going to be. But then Thursday and Friday are both 11, one's an 11 hour day and one's a 12 hour day. Um, and of course we have tests on those days as well. So it's getting down to really like the final, final, final <laughs> end of graduation, learning the last bits and pieces to really mesh everything together. Um, somebody asked me, you know, how do we retain the information if we're learning it and testing on it so quickly? And honestly, today, everything that we've been learning since day one truly came together. I mean, the way that they, they've they built this training program is truly amazing. Like we all had the aha moment today, um, how everything fits. Cause we've just been learning piece by piece, but everything just kind of builds. So first we learned um, the configuration of the aircraft. Where are your jump seats? How many seats are on the aircraft? Um, where are your galleys, galleys aka kitchens, where's the flight deck, you know, so you need to know obviously where things are on the aircraft. Then we learned where our emergency equipment was on the two different aircrafts. Um, then we learned um, emergency evacuations. Now we're learning planned evacuations. So throughout everything that we're learning, we're still putting to use the first things that we learned from week one. So they just build because during a emergency evacuation, we have to know where to find this emergency equipment. So it's not like we're just learning it and not going back over it. We're constantly using that information. So that's how, you know, we retain the information. Um, but yeah, I mean, not really a lot to talk about today. Um, it was, you know, it was a good day. We're, we are ready for it to be over. Um, <laughs> next Tuesday, a week from today, hopefully a week from today, I should be landing back in Houston, Texas, getting to see my dogs and my family, if it all works out right. But yeah, we have, my IOE is on Saturday. 
I still don't remember what that stands for because I haven't looked it up. I believe it's in-flight operational evaluation. IOE, in-flight operational evaluation. Maybe that's what it stands for. I might be lying. I'll put it down here at the bottom. Um, but so yeah, my IOE is on Friday. And then he kind of hit, hit, nudge, nudge. That's what they always say when um, they're reviewing something and it might be on a test or it's just information that we really want to know that they can't technically tell us yet. So we have three days um, starting Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We haven't really got our schedule yet. But you'll either have your IOE, your EME, and a day off but they can all fall whenever so we've pretty much all figured out found out what days our IOEs are on so mine is on Saturday so what he said today is that usually if your IOE is before your EME we give you a day in between just in case of delays or anything like that if you don't get back in time to do your EME so I'm feeling pretty lucky um, if my, my IOE will be on Saturday I'm going to Providence um, then I'll have Sunday off and be able to study for my EME and then uh, Monday will be my EME and then Tuesday is graduation. So <sighs> I can't wait to find out about this stuff tomorrow because for the EMEs they put us in cruise so they really do it like you're working a flight and they put you on a cruise so our planes um, either have two flight attendants working them or three flight attendants working them. So they're putting us in crews of, of threes more than likely, or maybe even twos if it's a, if it's, you know, I don't know, I didn't even think about it like that. So either twos or threes, but we'll find out who we're working with with our crews tomorrow because unlike the MSVs, how we'll know ahead of time what we'll be tested on, we don't know for the EMEs. All we know is that we need to know how to do every single procedure. So that's, you know, that just really puts the pressure on you. Because, I, you know, I told my instructor today, I was like, you know, I understand what we're doing. I can comprehend it. But sometimes, because we do learn so fast, you know, you can confuse some of the scenarios and situations and procedures together. You know, like today I was kind of confusing the E190 ditching with the A320 ditching and it's two totally different procedures so you know he made me he definitely made me feel better he was like you know don't get flush flustered with yourself don't get frustrated because you know it took me a long time to actually process it I'll just know and feel reassured that you'll have other in-flight crew members on there with you and you'll also have your flight attendant manual which is our Bible that lays out everything for us so that definitely made me feel better because I was kind of wondering, am I the only person that's getting these things confused in our minds? But I definitely wasn't. So that made me feel good. So I haven't looked over anything for our KSV tomorrow. So I'm going to go downstairs. And y'all know usually I don't study at night. But since it's we, have early, we ended early tonight, we got out of class right about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to head down and um, go study with some girls. And um, go back to my original study group since I took a break from them earlier this week. Um, and then, of course, wake up tomorrow morning and study again and then knock that test out. So, but yeah, that's about it today. So, talk to y'all later. Bye!